here. I'm here. Hi. Hi, Shannon. It's good to see your face. Jamie and Rachel, Amy. Good to see you guys. Hi, Tam. Oh, how's everybody doing? Everybody recovered from the child. We're recovering. Recovering and at least getting our pre-orders in, right? I love you. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll come back. I'll come upstairs in just a second, okay? Night. Aw, sweet girl. Good night. <sighs> oh, she said night, night. night. Thanks, guys. Um, she does it on purpose. She does. She waits for me to start Zoom. Like I heard, I think I heard her on the stairs a little bit ago, but when she started hearing your voices, that's when she comes in. She has to peek and see the Scentsy Girls. Well, good. Anyway. We'd like to see her too. Um, okay, so Tammy, I'm going to have you, if you are ready. Wait. The notification Oh, there you are. The notification was over your face. And so I couldn't see if you were <laughs> on. Um, talk to us about LTOs for just a second, and then we will move on from there. Okay. I just, um, after seeing some of the posts, I just wanted to make sure it may be common sense, but for some, it may not be on some of the things that are within our control. Obviously, um, how quickly we get in the queue or how long we're in the queue is out of our control. But when we do, when it's our turn, um, the race is on and you want to be prepared and ready. And so I just wanted to go over a couple of things um, to make sure um, that the next time we have an LTO, that you're a little bit more prepared for it. And so one of the things that I do is I always sit down and I write down who I have pre-orders from. I personally like to take um, their payment over my square. So then I don't have to enter multiple credit cards and risk at the end, one of them not actually going through. So I pay on the square and then I pay with one credit card. So my credit card, I know my credit card is going to go through. So that's one of the things that I do. But what I do is I sit down and I prep kind of ahead of time. Um, I write down what each individual wants. Um, I make sure I have their address. And so I go in. Um, the night before, and I populate that party. And so I make sure everything is ready to go. This one was pretty easy because the, um, the child was $60. So I used the Himalayan salt lamp, which was also $60. And I simply went in and placed orders under each of my customers. This time I had four that were local, um, four that were out of town. So I had to uh, ship separately. And so I put those in there. Everyone had their, every one of mine wanted actually um, the warmer and a, um, a bar. And so basically I uh, pre-populated with a Himalayan salt lamp, uh, the salt lamp uh, warmer and a Dumbo wax bar because I knew the price was going to be the same as what we were actually doing. And then I calculated what I wanted for um, free and half price. This time, this time of year, because of the, what we're living in and the craziness, I actually checked the, um, the list to make sure everything was in stock, that nothing was on back order, there wasn't any issues with it, and I went in and pre-populated that. And so when you get into the queue and it's your time, it's go time and you need to make sure that it's quick. And so basically at that point, all I needed to go is go under each customer, cancel out, um, the salt lamp and the bar and replace it with the child in the bar. And so you quickly do that and you're able to get in and out as quickly as possible. The reason, it seems like common sense, but there was a lot of people that I had noticed that were saying, I was able to get one warmer, but I wasn't able to get the others. And that leads me to believe that perhaps you were doing those as individual orders versus as a party in shipping them. And so that's one of the things that I just wanted to make sure that people were aware. I almost think, Melissa, maybe uh, next week we should give them um, basically a pre-order of what they want um, and they can pre-order and we can time them to kind of see how quickly they can place the orders. Um, just <laughs> kind of what we used to do in the military, practice, practice, practice. So the next time there's an LTO, 
we can see who can quickly get those orders in for maybe a prize. Um, <laughs> That's just, hilarious that you're, Tammy's going to run LTO pre-order boot camp. I am. I am. And <laughs> so it, that's all fine and well, so long as you get out of the queue while product is still available. Right. right. So, yeah. So but I think that was one of the things, I mean, again, we can't control those things. However, when it is our turn, we better be prepped to go. And some of the messaging that I was seeing led me to believe that um, some of the people might have had a better chance of getting some or more of their warmers if they would have had it prepped a little bit more. Um, because if you were able to get one order in there, you probably should have been able to get more. It sounds like people might have been doing individual orders and there's a more efficient way to actually do it. So I just wanted to make sure people were aware of that and they're actually prepping ahead of time. Addresses should already be in. There's really nothing that you should do is be replacing and checking out as quickly as possible. So that's all I had, Melissa. Thank you, Tam. Um, and we were just talking to just right before this call of, and I was talking to a consultant yesterday about the, um, uh, uh, I was talking to a consultant yesterday because she had said it's really disheartening to see products show up on eBay. And I said, warmers popping up on eBay has been happening for as long as I've been in Sensi. It is just one of the things that happens. Sensi has a high resale value, high resale value, which is a good problem to have. Um, but it stinks, right? Because you can't get your hands on a child warmer and you're a consultant and yet it shows up on eBay. However, it isn't just consultants that are putting products on eBay. And in many cases, it's not consultants putting the product on eBay um, because you don't know and I don't know if I sell something to a customer, I don't know that that customer is not going to put the product on eBay. And so we have to be careful. And that when I say we, I don't necessarily mean anybody here on this Zoom, but we collectively as consultants have to be conscious that it isn't, uh, we have to still try to see the good and not just assume that consultants are hoarding products. Consultants are buying what they don't need. Consultants are putting products on eBay. Um, it, they're sure. All of those things happen, but not on as large of a scale as, as, they, as you think. And a lot of times products get listed on these third-party sites without product even being in hand. If they don't end up getting the product, they take the listing down. And so um, a, the child was showing on eBay before it even launched. Well, we knew for certain whoever was listing that didn't have the product in hand. And so, um, so we just, it, yes, it's difficult, but at the same time, and hopefully, I mean, this year has, has been, gosh, we can say a million things about this year, but this year has been a very big learning experience for Sensi because this is really the first year that we are into all of these LTOs, right? In years past, we've had LTOs, but not nearly as many as we've had this year. And it does seem that we've had a ton of popular LTOs. And so I think Sensi is seeing the value of pre-sale. They're seeing the value of the queue. I mean, think about pre-queue. That was horrible. We'd all get in at the same time and nobody would be able to close their orders and it was a nightmare. So at least some people are getting in and being able to get their stuff and get out. Um, oh, there was something I was gonna say. Um, Pre-sales. Questions have come up on why pre-sales don't happen on every single warmer that they think is going to be popular. And the reason is the lead time. So you know that they just offered us a pre-sale for the child and that it's not coming until next August. Well, that's because they, they'll pre-sell it, find out how many they actually need to manufacture then go manufacture and we have to wait for those to come in. The child had already been on order 
for the projected amount long before we started doing pre-sales. The pre-sale thing is new or newer. What was the first product that we could pre-sale? Does anybody remember? Baby was, Yoda. Was it? Oh. That's what I, I yeah. Thought. It, yeah. And then the football warmers. And then the football. And then I think country, Chris, Christmas in the country. I think we could pre-sale that or there was a second chance maybe. But anyhow, um, it takes nine to 12 months lead time. So in order to project, and, and they may be taking that into account for future big launches that are nine to 12 months, months out, but anything that's already been produced and we have a projected number for, they can't do a pre-sale on because they already have a number that have been manufactured. So I wanted to clear that up as well, that pre-sale isn't always an option because the product has already been manufactured. Um, but I still, I have to tell you, and I, I really have to compliment our group. Um, yeah, there was a little, I mean, you can't blame consultants for being upset about what happened with the child. You cannot, I mean, it's frustrating to everybody regardless if you're super frustrated or a little bit frustrated, it was frustrating. If you didn't get one, it was frustrating. But I have to, I have to say that I'm so proud of the perspective and, and the way that you guys have carried yourself even through this educating. I know I've seen Jackie educating on Together We Sent. I know Cassie has been educating on Together We Sent and not in a, um, not in a shaming way, not in a way that is um, not taking into account how consultants feel with their frustrations of not getting the product, but you've really used it as an, as an opportunity to educate and that we really truly didn't have that much griping as there was in a lot of other places. Um, and I'm proud for that. Because I know so, that we go ahead. I Jack. just want to add, like, thank you for your transparency in that. Because, because the comment I replied to was that you know, like, higher up people for mm -hmm. sure got them, and without your transparency, I, I admit, like, I mean, not yeah. recently, but I maybe would have thought that too. But without sure. without you saying that, like, of course, why would it? people who are not educated think that, you know, yeah. so with your transparency, it was easy to say like, guys, that's not the case. It's a cue. It's random. Right. And that just really helped like try and I don't know what I want to say, but thank yeah. you for your transparency. Well, you're so welcome. And I, yeah, I mean, truth. And I knew, I did know that help putting that out there would help some people at least be like, okay, she didn't get hers either. You know, but but in the grand scheme of things, just the the fact that you guys carry yourself very well. You carry yourselves very well. I'm very proud of um, how we support each other. And I, I know we talked about this last week and talked about our community. Um, I think it's important to mention again that it just makes me proud from a leadership standpoint that um, we are all in this together. Nobody has uh, a back door doesn't matter how long you've been doing this or what your title is. Nobody has a backdoor to anything. Um, and that we have the opportunity to take frustrating situations and educate consultants that are newer, educate consultants that um, this may be their first experience not getting a product that they wanted um, and just doing it in a very respectful and tactful way. And so I appreciate, I appreciate all of that. And it just makes me really, really proud. So um, okay, next week on Tuesday, we're going to talk about transition and what that looks like for January. So we don't need to cover that tonight. We're going to tackle that next week. Um, and then that will put us to two Tuesdays from now will be Christmas week. And we're not going to have a call Christmas week. Um, so that'll be the 22nd, but then we will have a call on the 29th just to do a year end kind of year in review shout outs 
Um, I'm going to try to put together some fun uh, in compliance recognition. Uh, <laughs> that's been a hot topic lately too on how we recognize people. And so, um, you know, chalk everything up to 2020. But uh, okay, next week transition, no call the 22nd, 29th, we will have a year in, a year in review. Um, what else do you want to talk about? What else do you want to know? The reason why we did a part two to last week's call and kind of left this as an open discussion, open mic night, um, was because I received a, quite a few, well, a couple, quite a few um, messages from consultants that were on last week that said, I really loved how laid back last week was and how, um, you know, it was cool to just tune in and have conversation. And so that's why we're doing a part two tonight is just to kind of give you the floor. If there's anything that you want to talk about, ask about, know about, we've got 20 or so minutes that we'll dedicate to that. Cass. Um, Christmas ordering cutoff. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, um, Sensi for the U.S. Sensi's Christmas cutoff to ensure Christmas delivery is December fifteenth. That would be if you're delivering it, you're playing Santa Christmas Eve. Um, it may be well suggested to let your customers know. You know, we that's their cutoff of the fifteenth is barring any crazy weather delays that they can't have happen and who knows when snow's going to hit with all where our warehouses are so you may want to prepare your customers to let them know that it may be better to get them in a little bit before the 15th yeah and i would recommend if they do need it um you know direct shipping is, is always a quick option yep. um or quicker option because then they don't have to wait for you to deliver it to them but then also um, keep in mind also that Sensi doesn't shut down on December 15th. So if somebody doesn't need something for Christmas, you still have the ability to place orders. So I think that's a big um, misconception is that everything has to close down by the 15th. And that's not the case. You can place orders well after the 15th. They just may not arrive by the time it's Christmas, especially if it's FedEx. And if it's coming by FedEx, be prepared to have delays. Yeah. <laughs> And that's true. Yeah, since he's cut off for Christmas delivery is 12.15 for us. Yes, ma'am. I like getting my FedEx on Saturdays and Sundays though. UPS never did that for us. Yeah. True, but my whiff box was supposed to be here today and dang it, there's like, oh, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> See that? I'm with you, Becker. <laughs> I, I'm with you. Like, I'm like, hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't know. I got we'll my today and it came FedEx. I never have issues with FedEx. Where in the U.S. we're at and how close we are to the shipping When it's some in some too. weird unknown city that I never heard of in Ohio all day, I'm like, well, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. I know Amazon Prime has been using um, U-Haul trucks. It's been crazy because I got a delivery today from a U-Haul truck and uh, it was Amazon Prime, so you Amazon never even. Prime. I did also, and I don't know, I don't know where all Penske is, but it's like a trucking company here, <laughs> like a rental company here, yeah. and like I've been for a while now getting UPS and and other shipments yeah. off a Penske truck. Yeah, yeah my FedEx comes from so budget. Weird. Yeah, they have to rent those trucks during this season to help and then they hire their seasonal drivers so that's how they get enough trucks to get out at the same time i have a friend that works for ups so she tells me all about that oh nice something else that's super funny i don't know if you guys have experienced this but i've already had two different deliveries from ups in the same day a couple of hours apart one on the brown truck one on the penske truck <laughs> like yep. i don't know how that happens but thanks cool. for getting it here I had one that was on a like a Dodge Dodge Caravan. It was and they had like the magnet on the side of their truck. I'm like, okay, hey, yeah, I don't know. I, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I will start. I'll just sit 
Don't make me ask you. I'll start asking questions. <laughs> Somebody's speaking. Who all's earned any incentives so far on here? Great job. I made my thousand today. I became certified today. Yay! Yay! Great job. Awesome. Thank you. I was so excited. That's very Congratulations. exciting. Thank you. Hey, and I just wanted to let you guys know too. Um, I logged in for, like from like five computers during that whole wait time and I did get in and I did get a couple of the child and um, one of my customers actually just backed out on me. So if someone is in real need for it, I have one. Anybody? You heard it here first. Yeah. I need one. There you go. Oh, she beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I have a uh, one of my best friends. She really needs that warmer. Okay. Hey. So, um, Jamie Marshall. Aaron, send Jamie Marshall a message. All right, I will do that. <laughs> okay. Jamie's on Together We Sent. So, hey, right, one perfect. of the benefits of being on Zoom, right? Yes. And you know, oh, funny, right. I've known this for a couple days. Well, since it went live and since I had it and he said, no, I, I can't do it now. And I'm like, I'm not going to put this out here. I'm going to wait for my Zoom and for my people. And then I'm going to let You're them so have you. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Pays to get on Zoom because you just made Jamie say. Awesome. So thank you, Erin. You're welcome. Oh, Tiffany, what are you working on? Not now, but like, you know, sensey wise, what's going on? Because you always have stuff going on. Oh, yeah, I always have something going on. Um, just trying to push the gift bundles I have made up. Um, just kind of focusing more on that than I've had some parties that were flops. So trying to just get some of my inventory out so then I can restock or focus on transition. Awesome. Thank you. And who else? What else are you working on? Amber, what are you working on? What's going on? You have to unmute. <laughs> I, I'm on my laptop or my You're iPad. on your rose so was, gold, on your rose yeah. gold iPad. <laughs> yeah, um, I actually had to take a, a step back a little bit. Um, I lost my grandmother last week. So I just kind of took a little bit step back. Wow. So just slowly so getting sorry. back into things. So, but yeah. Um, it's been, I just been trying to keep with, I've been using Amy um, app and just doing, trying to keep up with people on that, but it's just, I just took a, a little step back. So you're, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed, you're allowed to give yourself the grace to grieve. Yeah. Needed to. <laughs> yep. You take, you take the time that you need. It's great to see your face. Thank you for getting on with us. And I'm so yeah. sorry about your grandma. Thanks. Welcome. Who wants to follow that? Hey, man. Um, so I normally have my holiday open house inside with wine and all sorts of fun stuff and obviously couldn't do that this year. So last week I set up our 10 by 10 tent in my driveway tables and I get everybody over like normal. Uh, just had it from a two hour drop by period. I had a table at the end of the driveway with extra masks and, and um, hand sanitizer. Everyone had to sanitize before coming up to the products. Everybody sanitized. They came up, they smelled the bars, they bought their bars, they bought their warmers, placed their Christmas orders. Everybody hung around in the driveway with their masks on the whole time smelling bars through the mass. It was all good. Um, I had just as many else here was doing it in my driveway for two hours as I do normally with wine and everybody inside my house for like four hours. 
So it was really good. Nice. That's awesome. Well, good way to, to make lemonade out of some crazy 2020 lemons. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Shan. Amy, you want me to call on you? <laughs> no, no. Who's going to rescue Amy? Somebody go. Mary Jane. Uh, I earned level two as soon as my customer pushes her order through, which is it's already in there. She's brand new. She just has to give me her half offs and free stuff, and I'm going to push that through. And I made um, annual sales award last last month or the month before. So I'm excited about that. Awesome. And you have until April to earn it. So congratulations. That's awesome. Are you going to go to Disney or are you going to Colorado? I'm going to go to Colorado. Awesome. Well, I was going to shout out Nicole because she got level two as well. Yay. So Nicole goes, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Nicole. Hey, thanks, Andrea. Yeah. I did. And I'm trying to figure out how I can get, get to level three because I feel like it's so close yet so far away. Get there. <laughs> and I'm $1,200 away from annual sales. So that's exciting. That is awesome. Go. It's going to be really oh. cool to see how many people, I mean, a lot of people have hit annual sales all like faster than they've ever hit it because you still have till April to earn it. And so, um, and annual sales is selling 30,000 points of PRV in one calendar year, well, not calendar year, one year from May 1st to April 30th. Cammy almost hit hers in one night. <laughs> <laughs> that she almost did what it's awesome yeah she she did tammy hustled when she promoted to superstar director two months I have, ago i have that, that on awesome. video i recorded that melissa that night and so i cool. shared it with my group and they're like oh my gosh to watch that i that cry every time i watch it by the way tammy that was that was a fun night that was that was a good time i haven't seen that i feel like i need to will you share it with me wendy who just said that? I'm Nicole. Me, Nicole. Yes, I can share. Me that too. Okay. And Lydia. Well, yeah, and we're telling her husband to wake up because he was sleeping on the couch. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, are you guys ready for the holidays? Ready for Christmas? Yeah. Again. <laughs> no. So it's kind of a yes, and but mostly no. Yeah. It's weird with Christmas shopping this year too. Have you been doing all of your Christmas shopping online? Online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did a lot yeah. of Black Friday shopping online. Same. And Cyber Monday. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the Kohl's vicious cycle that we all get in. You shop on Kohl's, you earn Kohl's cash, you spend the Kohl's cash, so you earn more Kohl's cash. Then you go First. back. <laughs> yep. yep. Now I got to wrap stuff. My husband decided he wanted a Carhartt coat. And so I messaged the person who embroidered the last one. I said, hey, are you still working? She goes, yeah. We ended up sending his coat to her house. So he doesn't even have no clue. And she's embroidering it. Awesome. Mary Jean, what were you going to say? Speaking of Kohl's, I have a girlfriend that works at Kohl's. She's a manager. And so, you know, I don't know if you guys are following me at all on Facebook, but I have a Ninja Foodie and I am like over the moon, over the top with this thing. I cook in it every day, sometimes twice. It's crazy. Anyways, I talk about it. I, I show people it when they're coming to get Sensi, they see my Ninja. Anyways, I've sold nine Ninjas, not counting my own. I sold nine Ninjas and everybody keeps telling me you need to, you need to have tell ninja that you're so i said no i don't want to do that but anyways getting these ninjas for killer prices for these people because my girlfriend's giving me her discount and i mean does everybody know how much a ninja foodie is anybody have any idea on amazon 219 eight quart 
I got it as low as yesterday, 111.13 out the door. That was the lowest one. So, I mean, I don't think I can get any more, but anyways, it was just, so I just wanted minute. to share that. <laughs> That's all. Wah, wah, wah. I just I told you about it, but you can't get one. Oh. This is why, this is why Janie has already earned annual sales with Sensi because you right. don't even know what you need and she tells you. <laughs> Just oh, buy right? with Kohl's. I mean, what a buy, right? to give you all their Kohl's cash. Oh, I thought I heard something from. I don't even know how Kohl's cash works. I, know, I don't even go to Kohl's. You know what? There was a post on Facebook. Okay? Girl, you should shop at Kohl's. I'm going to tell you something. I don't like to shop anywhere. I shop two places, the hardware and the meat market. That's it. I don't want to shop. I hate shopping. Anyway. Yeah, but if you okay. shop Amazon, you can shop Kohl's, Mary Jane. It's okay. I don't want, I'm not going shopping at Kohl's. I don't like to shop, period. Anyways, I'm on Facebook, and you know how these captions come up? It says, Mary Jane was at Kohl's shopping. I wasn't at Kohl's. I haven't been at Kohl's. I haven't been to Kohl's in five years or more. That's a, how, do they, how do they say you're at Kohl's? I don't get it. I can't remember the last time I went to they Kohl's. Dan's at Kohl's <laughs> with Mary Jane's phone. Oh no, I'm not at I'm not at Kohl's. I'm, I don't I don't like to shop. That's it. I love Kohl's. I'll pick Kohl's over Target any day. I won't go oh, anywhere. I'm sorry. I'm oh, no. <laughs> sorry. Dan's at Kohl's with her phone buying her bras because she's too cheap. That could have been. That could have been. Hey, I've lost I lost a few pounds. I've got those bras on. Just so you know. They're tight, but they're on. They are tight, <laughs> but they're on. That's all well, I you can may, awesome. you, you awesome. may as you may as well tell everybody what you're talking about. I have 13 bras that are brand new, beautiful, that don't fit, that my girlfriend gave me brand new because she's a shopaholic. Okay. I can't stand to go shopping. I don't want to go shopping. I'm not gonna go shopping. And I needed bras. Mine are falling apart. So I'm wearing two rags for the last year. Not because I'm too cheap to buy them. I'll buy them if they fit, but I can't, I can't find any. Wendy and Annette turned me on to, they said, I, the last pool party we had, they said, Mary, I said, I don't even have a bathing suit to wear. Wendy says, well, what are you doing? Go on, go online, go to Penny's, go order a bathing suit. Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Went online, ordered two bathing suit, and I was styling that day. But anyways, so is that is that the story, Melissa? Or was there more to it? Or about the when Dan had to take him back? Yeah. Well, I got just caught any... up in the moment. I got caught up in the moment. I had to, I was out in the moment. I'm at Von Mar because I had to walk through there to get, they had a bra sale. I thought, oh, I might as well look. I get caught up. I buy two bras. 60 bucks a piece. This lady at the register is telling me how you need to fold it and cup it and lay it on top and don't lay anything on top of it. I'm going, by the time I got into the car, I was so frustrated that I bought these two bras, but too embarrassed to go back. I said, get home and have my husband take them back. So I got home. I said, honey, you got to do this for me. I know it's crazy. I am not going back there because I'm mad and I'm, it's not going to be pretty if I go back. I said, these bras have to go back and I want the money back for him. So he goes in and he's twirling them. Because I got to return. <laughs> like that. Well, they did. They returned them. He goes, yep. She said she wasn't packing anything in her drawers that she can't lay anything on top of them. She's just had a bad, she's having a bad day. So <laughs> that, that was the end of the bra story. Hilarious. I love that. I've got some, I have some good bras now. <laughs> And so now you fit into one, yeah, at least. Sure I don't. Hopefully, I don't gain weight over these holidays. I'll be back <laughs> to the rags. Sorry. <laughs> On that note, and, and I and I didn't throw the rags out just in case because they're so tight. That's it. All right. Anybody else have anything, bras or otherwise, sensi related that you would like to share this evening, Cass? Um, my friend made me a cup today it says wax boss mom on it and she brought this yeah. over. that's cool yeah. okay let's let's end the call with this one fun thing that you found or learned about or um new product or 
something fun that you've learned about this week or in the last, I don't know, very recently? New product, new app, new website, new shopping tip, new anything. Except Mary Jane won't need your mm -hmm. shopping. Tip. Oh, I got one. Okay. There's this thing that you can download on Google. It's called Shop Buddy. You guys may have heard of it before. It's just this like little thing that you'll add to your bar. And anytime you go to shop on, if you go into the Google browser and you search for something, say you're looking for Dockers khakis, um, Shop Buddy will actually go to all the stores around you and will find it at the best place for the cheapest amount of money. Nice. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Come on, nobody has fun. <laughs> but you, Melissa, how are you? Well, I'm trying to think of what mine would be. What cool thing did I? You do something every day. Pick a tree. Right. <laughs> She's just Melissa, every day you're one. posting new Christmas crafts. I know I was just gonna say I'm I'm kind of addicted to these Art. embroidery hoop ornaments that I somehow dreamt up. What about the view in your backyard, Melissa? That pool that's beautiful. I meant exactly. to ask you, are you going with the salt water? No. <laughs> You're not? Yes. Wow, yes. good. Okay. Sorry. I have other sites, but my daughter won't come over here. They're honey, like H O N E Y. Oh yeah. Honey and Wikibuy, those help you find sales and coupons too. Yeah, oh yeah, I think Honey will find you all the coupon codes. Yeah, and Wikibuy does the same thing because she's always comes to me with like these carts and they have like seven hundred dollars worth of things and she wants to buy them. I'm like, oh, uh, let's find some coupons and let's take out all those crop tops. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yep, that, get, that gets us at least half. I told yeah. my daughter, the only crop coming out of here is your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I come across a, a video of you, Melissa, and it was seven years ago, and you took us on a tour of your house in your wall. It was, what was that, on your phone? Yeah, it was on one of my things, and it was like from 2013. So it was, and you were in your house. So how long have you been there? Seven years. Yeah. That was, that was probably the Christmas party I couldn't come to. I just want to go visit the craft room. Me too. Oh, ever. It's a craft like room. Junior. Craft room. <laughs> that Tammy, Tammy, I apologize. Where are you? She hung up. She bowed out. I just want to come see you all. I feel like I'm over here by out. myself. Are you guys? Oh, there she is. She's right there. Oh, oh, there you are, Tammy. I appreciate your. Um, I just have to clean up all of the trips that you had to make down to the basement. And I apologize. I did not help carry stuff down, <laughs> and I'm still hearing about it. Just oh so you goodness, know. whatever. So you were um, tired. You needed sleep. Yeah, I have a bunch. Look at. I have a bunch of these that I don't. I don't know what to do with. Hold on. Ah. We tried, <laughs> but it doesn't, it does, doesn't please? really work. Cause, but I have a bunch of- I The have craft a, that almost happened. <laughs> I have a bunch of styrofoam trees that I'm now trying to figure out what to do with. You should, you know, pick them different colors and, and dip them in glitter. And then you can like make a little tree forest with different glitter colors. Oh, well, and nobody wants to make That's anything. Awesome. Nobody wants to make anything out of these. <laughs> I don't know why. I think you should <laughs> spackle them. I'm going to send these to Lydia and she can put them on her rig. I'll make take them. Earrings. <laughs> you know, outline her license plate with it. Yeah, I'll take for them. some reason, I don't know why nobody wants to use these trees. We're gonna put them in your ears. Use earrings. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> True plus. Uh, my earrings. <laughs> but this, this is this is tonight's door prize. Thanks for getting on Zoom. I'll send this to you. A drawing. <laughs> a drawing. Yay, baby. <laughs> send us each one. We'll have a contest. <laughs> we'll all do one and then we'll mail them back to you. <laughs> Perfect. That'd trees from around the world. <laughs> yeah, from around the country. Will it be the, tree, oh. the traveling team trees? Well, Love it. You guys, thank you for hanging out tonight. We appreciate you. See, it's not, it's, thank you for letting us have a sensey, non sensey fun uh, evening together. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. So you you have this like Friday Zoom thing going on, right? We do. Yes. But it's like I'm the one day that I'm in the office is on Fridays, and I'm like, damn it, I can't like get on and and, and enjoy like all the fun and whatever you guys do. Because, like in the office, people will not. So we get up all the. Oh, well, maybe one of these Fridays. Maybe it's so hot. Having three hot dogs. We just sit, we we all just kind of do our own thing, but we're all on the computer together. So, and we'll be there this Friday. Well, I think I can Guys, thank you so much for getting on. Thanks for spending Tuesday night with us. Bye.